You know when you're off-road and you come to a hill like this one behind me, it can be quite daunting going, how am I going to get up there? And you might be pushing all the magic buttons for diff locks and all of that to get yourself through. But there's actually a whole heap of driving techniques you can use that help you to unlock a hill like this. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it today. Now, I've never driven this hill before. We're dealing with a little bit of moisture in the, on the terrain. We had a shower of rain come through about an hour ago. So there is a bit of moisture on the surface, but it's not muddy. Other vehicles have been through in the last half hour and you can see that there's not an excessive amount of wheel spin or anything like that. I'm aired down and um, I'm on, a, on the Maxxis Razor AT tyres. So that gives you a bit of context. Now, how do you approach this? Well, the first thing I say is you'll come to the hill and you will see most likely where other vehicles have already gone up or down the hill. Ignore all the tracks that you see on the terrain. Forget that they've ever been there because the temptation will be to drive exactly where they drove and that may not be the perfect line for you. When you look at the total hill and all of the rock steps and the holes and everything, it can become quite overwhelming. So break it down into elements. Rock step number one, rock step number two, hole number three. Then with those elements broken down, I'm going to get up this rock step by doing this on that line then create a transition through to number two rock step. Transition to number two rock step. I'm going to go up rock step number two by doing this and that. Then I'll transition to hole three and I'll get across hole three by this and that and you just continue chunking it down. Come for a walk and let me show you what I'm talking about so that we can have a go at getting up this hill. What we have here is hole number one right there and hole number two up here. Now, other vehicles have been on this hill and they've all been traveling out through here, but to my eye, that to travel up through that hole and up that small rock step and basically travel on this flat ground up to hole number two makes the most sense. So that's the line I'm going to do and nobody else has driven that today. So up along that side to here. This is hole number two. But all the vehicles that have traveled today have been traveling over there and through here. That doesn't make sense to me with my vehicle. What I'm going to be endeavoring to do is again straddle hole number two. So I'll turn around. I want my vehicle to travel up through here. Once I get to the top of hole two and my back wheels have popped over that rock step, I want to then bring my vehicle across into this rut here and that's going to transition me from the hole into this rut which will keep me located like a railway track so that I can transition up into these wombat holes up the top here. So I'm in the rut now and I've got to transition through into this set of um, articulation points up here. So I'm going to follow this rut up here but I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is then bring the front of the vehicle, the driver's side or the right hand side over into here. That's going to bring my left hand side into here and what I'm going to try and achieve is to turn the vehicle, so come up and around like this and follow this way and then at this point turn across and travel up and out of the obstacle. So all of those components I've brought them together and I've tra created transition points. The way I'm going to drive it, I'm going to put my diff locks in and I'm going to drive it with a moderate momentum. So I'll be in first gear low range, which in my vehicle is quite low, and I'm going to have a, what I say is I'm going to taste the hill. I've got a plan and I've got a strategy in mind, which comes from the experience I've gained over the years. I'm going to come and bring it to bear and apply it. It may work, it should work, but if it doesn't work, I'll learn something about how my vehicle handles this piece of track on this day, and then I will modify my drive to make it work, okay? So let's start unlocking this hill and actually putting all of that idea into practice. So lockers on, first gear low range, and I'm just holding a throttle control. Let me see where we sit, about 2,000 for my vehicle. Every vehicle will be different. Okay, there we go. Right, I'm sitting to straddle that hole. All right, 
quite slippery. Gave her a little bit of a pop there. Oh, she doesn't want to find it. Okay, now what I'm doing is a bit of lock to lock. No, where? Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a little pop. So I'm just going to back off just a tiny bit to there. I've got my right foot on the brake and the accelerator at the same time, so I can come across really quickly and transition off the brake onto the accelerator, okay? And that's because I need way more brake force than the handbrake will ever supply me. So here we go. Okay, that didn't work. When you get to this situation, what do you do? Back up. Okay, I'm in reverse. Clutch out, you do a reverse hill start recovery. You can use your handbrake. I'm using my, my right foot to, to control the brake and accelerate it together. So that's an advanced technique that you can practice and learn. Okay, I'm gonna back right out and start again. And often that's the best way to have a, another go is to start again, because it gives you like a fresh look at it. What I'm gonna do differently is I'm gonna increase the vehicle speed slightly. So I was on 2000 RPM. Now I'm, at, I'm going to two and a half thereabouts. It's not a huge amount more speed, but it's a little bit more, just that bit more, okay? Now this is where we had trouble, so I'm gonna pop the back. There we go. Oh, come on, you girl. <laughs> so now this is the fun part. You might be thinking, oh, this is terrifying. Well, for me, it's fun. This is where I'm actually unlocking the obstacle. I'm learning about the hill. I'm learning what's going on, why? This is the problem. This is the bit where I'm getting stuck. What can I do out of my skills and with my vehicle to unlock this hill so I can get up there? All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to try and stay higher to the left side of the track from the driver's position and see if I can get through. What I think's happening is my back left is hitting one of the rock steps and it can't quite pop up. So I'm gonna do that. I'm also gonna, when I get to that rock step, I'm gonna just feed a little blip of power and then back off and see if that'll pop me up. Let's see how we go. Okay, a little bit more RPM. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, again, we're, we're trying things. We're unlocking the hill. Okay, that's as much RPM as I wanna be applying in this situation. I'm gonna try and drive over there. Look at that, ah, there's the key. <laughs> now, isn't that satisfying? Okay, now I, I know to drive this, I gotta bring the front across there. There we go, that worked. And then we come over here, and there we go, and we've done it. That's the beauty I find of driving technical four-wheel driving is there's a puzzle that you have to unlock. You're the driver, there's the obstacle, you've got a tool, it's your vehicle, can you unlock it? So how do you go down a hill like this? Well, very slowly, for starters. Definitely, if you're in an automatic, you pull the auto back to first gear. If you've got hill descent controls, use those sort of techniques and, and those sort of that sort of equipment. In my vehicle, I don't have fancy gear. I've just got a good manual four-wheel drive. I'm going back to first gear, low range. I'm gonna stay off the brakes and let the vehicle find its way down the hill. So we're in first gear, low range. I'm picking a line down the hill that makes sure, I, as best I can, I'm keeping all the tires and wheels on the ground, that's traction. You don't get traction when your tires and wheels are up in the air. Now the vehicle's running away from me a little bit because this is a seriously steep hill, all right? So I'm just very lightly in, on, a, on the brakes, like squeezing an orange. Now I'm picking a line through this section so that I can keep my articulation to a minimum. So you'll see right here, I'm gonna go hard left, okay? Because that gets me through that hole and then I'm going back hard right, and that should keep my wheels on the ground. It did, that worked perfectly. Now I'm sitting in this rut here. Okay, that's good. That keeps me from sliding sideways. Now I come across this hole and I just lower myself down very gently. See how this is really controlled? Like, there's no out of control. Everything's happening just the way you want it. I've got plenty of steering. Okay, there's a little bit of slip, but what I, 
I just let the vehicle find its way. I didn't touch any of the pedals at the moment. I got my feet off the ground. There's no pedals. Okay, the vehicle's doing everything. I'm just steering and picking my lines. There you go. I'm down the bottom of that terrible descent. I hope that was really helpful for you guys. I hope you learned something there that's going to help you get out there on the trails and wheel well. I'm Mad Matt. Stay safe on the trails.